Woods. In the woods along Eubanks Creek in Jackson is but one side of Jackson's sewage overflow problem. Open culverts on both banks, reeking of the raw sewage that has recently spilled into the waterway that eventually leads to the Pearl River. Abby Raymond is with the Pearl Riverkeeper organization. We have concerns that um, the status quo is just not working. Um, the city has been under a consent decree with MDEQ since 2012. 10 years later, 2022, was the second highest amount of sewage released. In fact, records reveal that in 2020, more than 520 million gallons of sewage overflowed from the city of Jackson. Two years later, more than 216 million gallons of untreated sewage was released into the Pearl River. It is the main reason there is a standing no contact advisory for more than 20 miles of the Pearl and 13 tributaries. State environmental officials have had that warning in place for five years. But the city of Jackson, despite being under a federal consent decree from the Environmental Protection Agency to fix the problems, has not stopped the enormous flow of waste into nearby waters. Every time it rains, and those uh, is when, it re when we really have issues, that's when the system gets overloaded and where you tend to have these overflows. And, and it happens frequently enough that instead of us issuing an advisory, lifting the advisory, and a week later or a month later or two months later, we know they're going to continue to have these overflows and these bypasses until they get all of the problems fixed. I sat down with Chris Wells, who is the executive director of the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, the state's environmental watchdog. The city has incurred countless violations for waste overflows into the waterways, but not been forced to pay up for the penalties that are clearly defined through a public records request. The Department of Environmental Quality revealed that the consent decree allows for penalties of $10,000 for each bypass of treatment to the Pearl River, $2,000 a day for the release from the collection lines. But MDEQ admits it cannot say or count how many penalties might be assessed for the city. Both the EPA and the MDEQ have regulatory authority. It's kind of a catch-22 for us, right? We can go collect those stipulated penalties. Let's just say that they've, they've occurred, uh, incurred $2 million in stipulated penalties. I don't know what the number is. It's a, it's a number that's sitting out there that we could go and send them an invoice and say, you owe us stipulated penalties. If we do that, that's $2 million that the city of Jackson ratepayers and taxpayers would have to pay, and it's $2 million that we feel like the city should be putting towards solving their problems. The good news in that regard is that um, we've received the indication that, that the use of our ARPA funds um, can be uh, now directed. Um, the, there's a, a shift in, in how they say that we can apply those funds. It could be directed to some critical wastewater infrastructure needs. The mayor offered few answers when I asked what the city was doing to fix the sewer problems. Our challenges on the wastewater side have been uh, for some time and still are just as uh, daunting and, and, and large um, as uh, our drinking water challenges. And so uh, it's going to require a, cons a consistent and persistent effort to do it. Uh, when we don't get to uh, all of the correct corrections that we want, it's not because of a lack of will. But federal judge Henry Wingate apparently has the will to take another job away from the city of Jackson. He has already approved a federal consent decree for the EPA to operate the city's water treatment facilities. Now he seems poised to do the same thing regarding wastewater repairs. In federal court transcripts obtained by 16 WAPT from a hearing May 9th, the feds confirmed that there are currently an estimated 256 sewer overflows in the city of Jackson. An overview map shows that almost every section of the city continues to be plagued by the problem. Judge Henry Wingate asked the Department of Justice's attorney, would you say that today that the sewage problem is better or worse than it was at the time that consent order was entered? Carl Fingerhood from the Department of Justice Environmental Enforcement section responded, Your Honor, I would say it is worse. The DOJ's own counsel said there were a number of items that the city was supposed to do, and as we outlined in our status conference, they've really not done many of them. This has been quite the elephant to eat. Uh, this consent decree uh, predates me, uh, predates even my father as mayor, um, and, and we find ourselves in that position uh, much 
uh, in the same way that we found ourselves in the situation with our drinking water. So whatever's happening now, it's not working. Attorneys for the EPA, MDEQ, and the city of Jackson are working on the legal wording of a new consent decree designed to be folded in some shape or form into the one overseeing Jackson's drinking water repair work and hopefully marshal federal resources to finish the sewer repair work that the city has not done. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.